infinito. Yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome, welcome to part 2 of this week WWE Top News and Rumors Roundup. Today we're talking about more past superstars returning to the WWE and WWE signing new talents from the Cruiserweight Classic, status on Alberto Del Rio and much more. But before we get into that, make sure you guys check episode number 1 where I discuss other latest regarding Brock Lesnar, SummerSlam top matches and other superstars returning into the WWE. But anyways guys, in a very quick fashion, let's get right to it. It. So besides uh, the three matches that are already scheduled to happen at SummerSlam, two of the other matches that are set to happen are John Cena versus AJ Styles and Charlotte versus Sasha Banks. When it comes to John Cena versus AJ Styles, the rumors are stating that apparently the WWE wants to give AJ Styles another win against John Cena, ultimately leading into the third match which John Cena will most likely win. Regardless, very interesting to know that they're planning on put AJ Styles over once again. Moreover, and to emphasize emphasize the fact is that John Cena is working a less infrequent schedule in the WWE as originally thought because he is still taking bookings from outside the WWE. When it comes to Charlotte versus Sasha Banks, the WWE is apparently extending this feud and it is expected to stretch out for a couple of more months and no shit they better extend it because there is no other potential contender. And as we discussed in episode 1, Paul Heyman is yet to sign a deal with the WWE but they are apparently working on it and it is expected to be resolved. The new rumors are stating that Paul Heyman might indeed end up showing up with Brock Lesnar this Monday on Monday Night Raw. When it comes to more returns to the WWE, according to The Observer, Ginger Mahal will likely be on Raw when he returns and Curtis Axel will most likely be on SmackDown. MVP and Steve Richards are two names that are still expected to return to the WWE but it is not known where they will end up. And remember, during a podcast, Teddy Long said that Shelton Benjamin and and MVP both signed a deal with the WWE. Considering that it's confirmed that Shelton Benjamin is returning, I see MVP being announced very soon. Zack Saver Jr., Noam Dar, and TJ Perkins has all been offered deals by the WWE according to the Wrestling Observer. And man, if you haven't watched the Cruiserweight Classic, go watch it. And to nobody's surprise, there are a lot of superstars that are upset at the fact that Brock Lesnar is exempt from the wellness policy. I said to myself that it was extremely unfair that he was exempt from it. It is also being reported that do not be surprised if the UFC drug test failure that he had is used in upcoming storylines, especially heading into SummerSlam with his match against Randy Orton, who by the way already started teasing all of that. And the last piece of news that I got for you guys is some drama related to Alberto Del Rio and Paige. Well, they are still together, so there's nothing much there. Paige went on Twitter and she stated that she is happier than ever. These rumors basically began when we saw the draft and Paige and Alberto Del Rio landed on different brands but when it comes to Alberto Del Rio ringside news is stating that Alberto Del Rio might actually be done with the company once his contract expires in October because he is very unhappy in the position that he is at the moment and honestly I don't blame him Alberto Del Rio could go anywhere else and he is a freaking A-level star but he comes to the WWE and he is booked so poorly and the Lana and Rusev wedding was filmed to be shown the next season of Total Divas and Rich Side News is reporting that CZ might have gotten fired from the WWE. He has been training at the Performance Center ever since Tough Enough ended. This is just a rumor at the moment as the WWE hasn't necessarily confirmed it. So I'll keep you guys updated on that. But anyways guys, uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, drop a like if you guys found this informative. We on the road to 2,000 subscribers. Macho Tiao! Ticket!